Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Lalozano and I post videos that document my life as a first generation student and share all the tips and knowledge that I gain along the way with you guys. Today's video is how to prepare in high school as a junior or senior for college and it's actually the first video of my series, What They Don't Tell You About College. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So you're probably asking what you should do your junior year in high school to prepare for college. So first and foremost, it's important to take your pre-ACT and pre-SAT exam. There are two reasons for this. The first is to improve upon where you are falling far below standards and it will tell you exactly what you need to focus on. So if it's algebra, if you're struggling in science, it will tell you those specific spots and you can improve upon those by taking practice exams in the summer, take a booklet, those ones from the previous year on like prep for ACT, SAT, whatever, those are going to really help you. And the second reason is because it will allow you to see which exam you're better at taking. You don't have to take both of them, just take one. I prefer the ACT because it was a lot easier than the SAT for me personally. So see which one is easier for you and focus on getting the best score that you can possibly get. Next, explore different options of colleges that you can go to. Don't really limit yourself here. This is just you exploring those different options that you have, looking into different states if you really want to go out of state, or looking at in-state schools and how they kind of defer, what you prefer in a school, and what you don't like about a certain school. This will allow you to just get into that mindset of, hey, I'm kind of looking into college right now, so let me see what I like and what I don't like. So it's really important to get involved your junior year in high school. Even before your junior year in high school, you can get involved, that'd be amazing. But it's really important to do so because when it comes around to applying for colleges and doing scholarship essays or trying to join a club on campus in college, whether that be a fraternity or sorority, they ask you about your experiences in high school. And if you don't have anything, how are you going to speak about yourself. How are you going to differentiate yourself from other individuals? So make sure that you get involved, you work on a passion project, or you're volunteering. This will really help you in that. This is the last part I have for juniors, but doing dual enrollment or AP credits, it's really important, especially in high school, because it'll allow you to prepare for college and the college work that you're going to get, but it will also allow you to transfer credits from high school to college. So sometimes you'll be able to knock out like your economics class or your world history class, you know, an English class, stuff like that that will help you in the end when you get to college and you'll thank yourself later. So now you're a senior in high school, what should you do to prepare for college? This is the most funnest year I'm telling you ever. It's prom season, it's time that you're going to go to college, you're trying to figure out who you're going to be, where you're going to go, where your friends are going to go. So much fun. But let me tell you what you should be doing um, your senior year. Take your ACT and SAT, especially if your GPA is not what it should be at. The reason I'm telling you this is because colleges look at your ACT and SAT scores to determine whether you're prepared for the classes that you're going to take or not. And a lot of the times, if you don't score so well on those exams, they put you in remedial classes so that you can take that like step to that class. And so it's important to take these exams seriously for that reason. And also, if you have a really bad GPA, it can help weigh that out by showing them that you're still prepared for college. But you have a good GPA, you don't have to take the exam, but there's a great perk to it. A lot of students who take these exams and score really well on them will either get full ride scholarships or just academic scholarships like the presidential scholarship for the school and get a lot of the majority of their tuition paid for. And that is the reason why a lot of students stress about ACTs and SATs because they are important and they will help you. So do them, practice for them, and just try to do your best. Next is to do in-depth research on your college that you want to go into. What is the cost of attendance? What is the environment like? Tour the campus, see if it's actually a fit for you, whether that be online or in person. And lastly, check if they actually have the program that you want to join. So look at your majors or explore different major options and see which one is the best 
for you. This is key right here. How are you going to pay for college? You tell me. There are three types of scholarships that you can also apply for. There's academic, the random scholarships, and also the financial need scholarship. So see those different options. I have a video that I'll list down below that explains how to apply for scholarships if you want to look at that. Um, but I just really recommend applying for scholarships and FAFSA. A lot of these are renewable, so you would just have to apply for these and then once you get them, then you can continue to renew them throughout your college journey. Of course, as long as you keep up with the GPA requirements or any criteria that they have in line for you. This is probably the hardest decision you'll ever have to face <laughs> when trying to decide what college you want to choose. You might be torn between options, but at the end of the day, remember that it's also important to consider whether you're going to have to take out loans. So cost of attendance should be one of the top things on that list after, you know, seeing if they actually have the program that you want to attend. And I just want to end this video by saying enjoy your years in high school before you have to come to college and become a responsible adult. And I tell you this from experience because once you get into college, yes, it's fun and stuff, but you also have so many responsibilities and you have choices and options to choose between. So make sure you're doing the right thing for yourself and always choosing to be transparent, be yourself, because even in college when you're coming in, you're going to meet people and you don't want to be fake. You want to make friends the authentic way because these are the people that are going to be with you for a lifetime. You know, in high school you say that you're going to be with all your friends and stuff, but that's not really true because you start to drift apart. And accept that, that's fine. Make your friends in college, be you, and just have fun overall. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and keep an eye out for the next video in my series. Bye!